And like I said, I should have come out with the album with them. It didn't happen. And that's why I put out the the retrospective, um, the retrospective um song, uh what do you call it? The song, it's not called song list. Anyway, and then I put out the other one that was called um it just has all the letters on it. And a lot of people ask me, what does all those letters mean? The R C D F H C D. Right, right. And it has a name, you know. And the thing is, is that it's only a couple of songs. Those was the songs that would have been on my album, you know, had it come out on Teddy's label, one, because it would have been some of those songs with the Neptunes. And then some of them were done after we left Teddy, too. And the thing is that there are about five or six more really, really good ones, but they need to be, I need an engineer so I can do, I don't want to put out any more stuff that's not all the way done, you yeah. know, because I kept trying to get this one and that one and trying to figure out how I was going to do it. I said, you know what, just put it out. If you can hear it, they can hear it. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what happened. People can hear they can hear what they need to hear. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, perfectly mastered and perfectly, you know what I'm saying, but they can hear the energy of me. Okay. And, 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 and another thing too, a lot of times, you know, I've heard a lot of comments The comments have been fabulous. You know, the people <laughs> put on there, but some of the comments, they'll say, yeah, those Neptunes, those Neptunes, they don't realize they weren't even that then. You know what I mean? A lot of that is me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's me because they hadn't really they hadn't really developed the sound that you know them as the Neptunes. It hadn't been born yet. It was being born. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? A lot of that was catering to me, especially uh, before we kiss goodnight, turn out the lights. Yeah, turn out the lights, yeah. Yeah, it was it, those songs was were, were specifically catered towards me, you know, and what Pharrell thought of me after him getting to know me, you know what I mean, and what would be good for me, you know what I mean, because they sent me a lot of stuff that you you'll never hear because it was just you know too early stage, <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But when we got to the songs that you hear, that's when we sort of got to a sweet spot, you know, after them sending me stuff back and forth and and uh, you know a lot of people today that know Pharrell they could they, you could tell them something but they could never really see him the way he really was back then they don't have a reference point for it and it's okay you know what I mean because he's such a big guy now and he's been a big guy you know since he's been in his early 20s you know what I mean mm -hmm. and, you know and, and I'm proud of him I'm proud of him and Chad you know because uh a, a, a lot of that has to do with me. You know what I'm saying? They they were under my wing for almost a decade, wow. you know, and me directly, not Teddy, because Teddy didn't have time for them. And this is a lot of things people don't realize. Pharrell had to go to the studio and try to get time with Teddy. That's how he got on Rump Shaker, showing up to the studio, you know, and I give it to him because the boy had ambition, okay? He had ambition. Teddy didn't call him. He got up and had some. He didn't even have a car. He had somebody to drive him to that studio, okay? And drive them to my house, okay? He didn't have no car. He didn't have any money. None of them did, you know? And that's why I had to feed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, Mike Edwards said that, yeah, Tammy was. They had no money. They, all were, of us. They, they were just, you know, when you fresh out of high school, you don't, what do you have? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Listen, I just say I had a good time. That's all I say. Use your heart. You a lot of laughs. You you could you did use your heart. Um did you write that or oh, for SWV or what was the creation of that song, Use Your Heart? Listen, when that song was written, it had to do a lot with after we after I left Teddy and then after Pharrell left Teddy, that was in the end of nineteen ninety four. I think Pharrell left a little bit before me. I think I left around around this time, November 1994. 
and Pharrell maybe had left a month or two before. And after that, he went in, you know, because before that, he was waiting for Teddy, waiting for whatever was going to happen with that situation. And so was I, you know what I mean? And then they decided to, you know, hats off to SWV. I love it. SWV. I think they are a premier R&B group of the 90s, okay? Mm -hmm. But they shouldn't have put them on my record, <laughs> okay? They took they took me off of tonight's tonight in the video and just and once again and 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 these guys do this because I guess they want to show the upper hand, but what I want to say now is like, you know, you work with somebody, right? I never gave none of them no trouble. Pharrell, oh my God, Pharrell became so demanding. He, he started off kind of shy, but then once he realized, you know, I was a nice person, he just became demanding. Can you do this? Can you do this? Blah, 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 blah. And I never turned him down. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, is that, um, but sometime when you want to do something for yourself and then you, it's not going in the plan with that, this is what they do to, well, you know, and you know, I can understand Teddy was a big man. He had a reputation, this, that, and the other. But uh, listen, I'm not doing this just for you. <laughs> I got a family that's looking at me, too. That I want to take money home to my family and buy my mom a big house or whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I don't know, maybe me being the only kid, you know what I'm saying? I just always been had a sort of rebellious spirit when it comes to the justice of Tammy Lucas, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, listen, when, 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 when I'm not getting anything out of it, what am I, what am I hanging around here for? <laughs> for nothing? No. And, and, and I feel sorry for a lot of people in the industry. I was listening to the story of, uh, what's the, the young lady? Uh, they said she, uh, the, the lady that sings, uh, you, you are my all in all. Oh, you. Evelyn she just passed away. Oh, oh. my God. Oh, jo and Joyce Sims. And she wrote the Joyce Sims. Joyce Sims. Huh? Joyce Sims. Her. Okay. Yeah. No. Is that the girl that did the writing? No, 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 no. Not her. Andre uh, Andrea. Oh, Andrea, Andrea Martin. Yes, yes. Andrea Martin. Don't, yeah. Andrea Martin is who I'm talking about. This girl wrote for so many people, okay? Mm. Her and Angie Stone's story. Yeah. They did wrote for so many people. And then, you know, when it's time to do your stuff, they, they're too tired, they're too busy, whatever the story is. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's not right. And for me, I opt out. You know, the, the, the Virgin deal that, that, that ended up happening with Khalees, I, they, I had a deal where, you know, I went to have a meeting too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you love what you watched, there's over 100 artists that we've interviewed. So please check out the videos. Remember to like, share, honor, and subscribe. But better still, become a member of Halftime Chat and get exclusive videos ahead of time. But thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs>